just look at that filling in there absolutely packed that is how to make vegetarian spring rolls hi guys how you all doing welcome to backyard chef i'm rick today spring rolls vegetable spring rolls thai style thai family style this is how we make them here in thailand now everybody has their own recipe for spring rolls different ingredients and this is the very basic tasty vegetarian vegetable spring roll it's so simple to make let's show you how to do it come on okay guys now you know there's so few ingredients in this okay so we'll quickly run through it now what we have here we have vermicelli um, noodles now these have to be soaked this is the first job okay we'll soak those we have cabbage carrot mushrooms sugar soy sauce and a shake of pepper that's it so we cook this off first and then we'll put it in our wraps and fry it so simple so the first job is to soak our noodles okay now you're ready for this very complicated menu there's a bowl open up our vermicelli noodles stick them in the bowl and soak them in water for about 10 minutes now while these are soaking we can crack them with a the veg I'll do get that in there so normally for a spring roll then we want about 50% cabbage 30% carrot 20% mushrooms easy so all we need to do is thinly slice everything stick it in a bowl so let's start with the cabbage and we thinly slice now not a very exciting job I know but you know it has to be done So we're getting these lovely lovely thin slices of cabbage and all we're going to do is dump them in our bowl try and open them up a little bit as we put them in now you can do this any which way you want guys you know if you want um, to use a mandolin or anything like that up to you you know Now, like I say, you know, some people put garlic in, coriander stalks, coriander leaf, all that kind of stuff. This is tasty enough without that, actually. So we're not going to put it in. That's optional. We'll leave it up to you. So that's all our cabbage in there. That's easy. Right, carrots. You can either slice them thinly or you can get one of these gadgets you know one of these gadgets does this for you and then what you can do you can boom that's our carrot Or the other way guys is slice it thinly so whichever way you can do it do it 
So that's our carrot. Now we've got some mushrooms. Now these are dried shiitake mushrooms and they've been in water soaking to rehydrate. Now they're only small actually, normally you can get some big ones but they're only small these. But again we want slices. So there's our mushroom. I'll put that in there. Now that is our veg guys. Okay and what I've got here I've got probably about two tablespoons of mushroom water I'm going to keep because we're going to use that I might have to use some normal water in the stir fry. Right our noodles have been soaking for about 10 minutes what we need to do we need to drain them and then give them a little bit of a cutting. So let's just drain this water okay and then all we're going to do is slice through with a pair of scissors because we want noodles bits of noodles in our spring rolls but we don't want one foot lengths or a meter lengths so just cut through three or four times you can go as many times as you want actually it's entirely up to you so that is our noodles cut through all we need to do now is do the stir fry right okay splash of oil so we're going to stir fry this veg on with a flame guys this is a stage where if you wanted to add garlic or chopped coriander uh, stems you put it in now but honestly it doesn't require it so heat our oil up and then in with our veg. So we'll put that in to start off with. Get that in there. Now it will start to wilt down a little bit so we don't have to worry about it you know. So we'll get that in, start this off and then we'll put the rest of the cabbage in. So bob all that back in there. Now what we want to do is add about two tablespoons of soy sauce. So start that off in there. So we're going to add two now just to help cook this down. And then we'll add some more when we add the noodles. Because then the noodles will take on that soy flavour. And then what we'll do we'll go in with our reserved two tablespoons of mushroom water and our sugar now if you like veggie things this smells amazing it really does now I'm not vegetarian I can take it or leave it but I do appreciate nice vegetarian food especially if it's homemade now I'm going to give that a good shake of white pepper probably about nearly a tablespoon I reckon and we're going to cook that in there as well now that's looking about okay the thing is with this spring roll recipe guys you do not have to cook it down so it all goes soggy and then we're going to go in with our noodles and now we're going to add another two tablespoons of soy sauce so that is four tablespoons of soy sauce in this recipe and give it all a mix through and then all we need to do is let this filling cool down completely now if people are going to say you've got too much cabbage we haven't you know we're making veg spring rolls it's got to have something in it there we go that's our mixture made 
Now we're just going to let that cool down completely so we can wrap it before frying. Right guys, cool down mixture. Right, this in here is a heaped teaspoon of tempura flour and water actually. Now you can use any flour, any, any flour you like, all purpose flour, just a little bit of water. We want that as our glue. Okay, now all we're going to do is we're going to take out our wrappers. We're going to take a wrapper. Now the easiest way to do this, it's a square wrapper, put the point to you. Okay, take some filling, stick it in your wrapper. Easy as anything this guys. Okay, and then we want to roll tight. What we want to do is take some floury water and just a little bit on there. Okay, easy as that. And a little bit on the top. That's our glue. Now all we're going to do is fold that in there like that. Fold that in there and we're going to roll. And it's as easy as that. Boom. <laughs> There's our spring roll. Okay, so we're going to leave it on there. We're going to carry on with the rest. So take another wrapper. Nice and steady. Point to you. Some filling. Now with everything I do guys, I fill. I can't see the point of uh, making something and not making it properly. Push it over, pull it back, turn over a couple of times, a little bit of that on there, on there, fold that in there like that, fold that in there like that, a little bit on there, and then just roll over. Spring roll done. Take another wrapper. Okay, flame on. Oil in the pan. And that is our spring rolls. Wrapped, and we're just gonna actually cook them. We just wanna crisp up the outsides, you know, the inside's already cooked. It's easy. Right guys, here we go. When you think that it's hot enough, put your spring roll in, layer away from you. Now you want to put the seam, the seam down. That one's going to burst. That's enough to start. So what we'll do is we'll cook these in batches, we brown them off, we turn them over, Brown them off and crisp them over all over and take them out. Now some of these are going to burst, I can see it already. Now as you can see it's a nice gentle, gentle frying here, you know. We're not trying to Fry the heck out of it, you know. Okay, they're looking about done to me. You take them as brown as you want, but that is brown enough. So all we've got to do is take these out and let them rest. Now, if we let them rest on this wire rack, they're going to stay crispy and the oil's going to drip off. Flame off guys, when they come out. Don't turn the flame off before unless you're quick enough to get them all out. Because if not, they're sitting in, hot, in oil. Crispy as anything, absolutely fantastic. 
all we need to do now is serve them up with some plum sauce. Yes! Just look at that filling in there. Absolutely packed. That is how to make vegetarian spring rolls. All we need to do now guys is plate them up. Oh man, that is amazing. Mm. Guys, if you like what we're doing, don't forget smash that like and subscribe, share with your friends, all that kind of stuff. Catch you in the next video.